Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuvir. In this class, we will discuss few formulas regarding uh, quantifiers and we are going to use these formulas in our coming classes. Understanding these formulas is a bit confusing. But don't worry, during the examples, we are going to use these formulas. Uh, in our coming classes, we are, we are go going to do that examples. You try to solve these examples during that phase. If you have any questions regarding these formulas, come back and watch it again, then solve these examples again. This is the way you can understand it better. So coming to today's class, so the first formula is universal specification or we call it as instantiation. Universal specification or universal instantiation. So what this formula says is for all x, a of x. If someone says that this equation is true, for all x, a of x is true, then from this equation we can conclude that, from this one can conclude that a of y is going to be true. So understand it properly. For all x, a of x, if someone says that this is true, means a of x is true for all x. You take any x value, it is going to be true. This is a bounded variable. x is a bounded variable. And from this we conclude that a of y is going to be true. y is a free variable here. Means in our last class we discussed a free variable. We assign free variable for single subject. If it is true for all the subjects, subjects here means all the all the persons, then you can conclude that it is true for a single person. It is a person or it is a subject or it is an animal, it is a thing, anything, a of y. Yes, it is true. This can be written as for all x, a of x, tautologically implies a of y. What is the meaning of this? In our previous classes, many times we, we have done many examples regarding tautological implication, inference formulas. For all x, if this is true, then you, you can conclude that this is going to be true. If these two are tautologically implied, then only we can conclude that. So, if someone says that this is true, then you can conclude that a of y is going to be true. y is a one subject from this entire list of subjects. Yes, it is true. Now coming to the next one, existential specification. So there exists x, a of x. If someone says that this is true, then from this you can conclude that a of y is going to be true. So understand the existential formula properly. There exists x, a of x. Means when this formula is going to be true, at least, at least one subject a of x should be true for at least one x value. Then only there exists x, a of x is going to be true. At least one. Why, why don't, why can't that at least one is going to be y? You can write it. But there are few conditions for this. If you, if someone says that this equation is true, you can conclude that a of y is going to be true. But there are few conditions for that y is not free variable in any of the given premises. So initially they are going to give some premises during the example. In the premises you should not have that y as a free variable. So why it is not free? You should not, you should consider this condition. In our last class we clearly discussed a free variable means it belongs to a particular subject. This variable name is already used in the previous premises. So don't use it. Uh, use a different name. Changing the variable name, it's not a problem. This point discussed previously. So the variable which you are going to use here, a of y, if it is already used, you take it as a of z. No problem. So y is not free variable in any of the given premises and y is not free in any of the prior steps of derivation. During the derivation, if y is used previously, it is a free variable in any of the previous derivation steps, then also don't use y. Use a different variable name, z or any other name. So 
so this condition we need to follow so now coming to the existential generalization if someone says that a of x is true then we can imply tautologically impress there exist y a of y means if someone says that this is true means a is true for x then you can conclude that there exist y a of y so there exist y a of y means at least it is true for any one value then you can conclude that this is going to be true it was already given it is true for x so you can write it there exist y at least one one element belongs to y that that is equal that is satisfying the condition a of y is true so that we can write this a of x tautologically implies negation uh, it's there exist y a of y so once a of x means one can conclude there exist y a of y and one more formula is there universal generalization so we are going to discuss that formula in our next class so hope you understand these examples these formulas if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you